everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I have to fix myself on this stool. <laughs> I was watching videos today trying to learn how to do better videos. I'm not learning anything from any of them. A lot of them are talking about how you need a better camera. Well, I've got the better camera. How you need to have good thumbnails. Well, I like my thumbnail to be me because if you're looking for my videos, you know it's it's got to have me in it because it is me and different things that they've talked about that lighting and stuff like that well I hope that my lighting is good because I'm just using the basic lighting within the house I also today was thinking about how I really miss pasta it's crazy I know with the ketogenic way of eating which is what I'm doing for the most part every now and then I slip up um, you can't have pasta, but I do once in a blue moon, and you shouldn't have rice, which I haven't had any rice. I, rice was never my favorite anyways. Um, bread, I did have some bread today. I toasted two pieces of homemade bread. Oh, it sounded so good, and I thought, well, somebody was making pancakes, and I thought, mm, maybe I'll have some bread. So I made a couple slices of toast. And, um... Then I was, then we made, then I made for dinner, I made, um, or for our first meal, my husband's first meal, it's not mine, because I, I had the bread before. Um, it had the beef, roast beef, and chicken that I had, I had made like chicken soup, and so I thought, well, you know, I'll just combine them both, because they will taste good together. I don't know if you've ever made um, French onion soup the restaurant that used to be in town made the best French on onion soup and come to find out it was made with a beef stock along with a chicken stock and that's why it was so very very tasty so this was with a beef and a chicken flavor which was really good and then I said to my husband this would taste so good over pasta or rice even though rice isn't my favorite but it would taste so good over pasta then I thought well you know I could make it, what's left over could be made because there is more still left over. I could put it over the cauliflower, um, the riced cauliflower, and throw some broccoli on it and throw some mushrooms on it. And I think it would be really tasty, which I, he's shaking his head. It's yes, it's going to be tasty. So that's probably what it will be used for. But boy, I remember those days of, of pasta. For those of you that are keto and hear pasta, I'm sorry. It's one of the things that when I used to go camping, I used to have to, actually used to have a withdrawal because we would have um, two days with no macaroni. It was really hard. Um, I would cook pasta lindiki, which is macaroni with lentils, on Friday because Fridays we would not have any meat, and that was my. And when I had the foster kids, they, they were so used to eating, you know, meat every day of the week or something, hot dogs or some kind of something. And I used to say that Friday was a non-meat day. And the reason I had no meat is because that was my favorite day to have either the macaroni with lentils or some kind of pasta. And so we used to use the, the spaghetti macaroni with the lentils and what I used to do is break it up and it used to be like little um, one inch pieces and I was really good at breaking pasta that was one of my jobs when I was home I'm all over the place with this but that was another thing they said you shouldn't do and I do do it I go all over the place I could be talking about one thing and then go on to something else but this is the way life is life isn't one subject Life has a lot of subjects. But well, yet they also say that you should not read from a script. And either. you shouldn't read from a script, but you know, I do do that too, probably. No, I don't read a script. I just read my little notebooks to give me, so I stay on track. Because I do fall off the track every now and then. Um, we were talking about camping and pasta and, oh gosh, now I'm on a different, different road. You know, when you travel in the car, here we go. <laughs> And the different road when you travel in the country you come to another crossroad real soon it seems like well maybe a couple miles it's usually these roads are not close because if you were to walk a country country block you're going about five miles and um but anyways that when you're in a, taking a ride in the country 
you decide, okay, do you want to keep going straight on this road? Or maybe you'll take that left or right hand turn and see where it takes you. And then it takes you to another left or right hand turn and you follow that one. And you keep going until you keep going and keep going. And then you, then you look for the lake. <laughs> because that's how you find your way back home, at least for me. I look for the lake and the lake will bring me back home. If I can see the lake and go that direction, then I know I'm going to make it back home. I remember riding in the car with my mother one time. We were ride, we were taking a Sunday ride, she, or maybe it was just a regular day ride, because it was just us girls and my mom. My dad would have been at work if it probably was a weekday, because he, he didn't work weekends. But anyways, we were taking a ride, and I remember coming to this one road that it had grapes on the left-hand side, and it was a really steep, steep, road and I remember my mother was almost afraid to go down that road because it was so steep and we actually said to her are we lost and she says no I know exactly where I was well she didn't have a clue where we were but we did find our way back home so when you're lost look for your star in the sky or the sun or whatever you look for another thing that you look for is moss on trees <laughs> Another thing, if you want to know the north of the side of the tree, is the moss is supposed to grow only on the north side. But you know what? It doesn't grow just on the north side. I've looked at trees, and it's been all the way around sometimes. So I don't know how you're supposed to know which is north by the moss on a tree, because it sure doesn't work for me. Well, I guess that's it for today. I hope you had a good time on your Sunday. And um, mine has been kind of boring, but that's okay. <laughs> it's always this way. My rooster was crowing, and the chickens are going to bed, so it's getting late. And later on, I'll watch Bob's live. So don't forget, if you see this before um, 6 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time, go watch Bob's live, and we'll see you there. Too. Bob who? Oh, Bob. Oh, yeah. Oh, good heavens. Doesn't anybody, everybody should know who he is. That's what I keep thinking. It's Mountain Crest Farms. If you, if you have time, go check out that live at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And um, you can join us. Well, I'll be there. I'll see you then. Bye.